What is up, my scrubs? Welcome to The Fish's Tale, another game by Zed Technician, aka the man through the looking glasses. The male who looks through the looking glass. You guys know I'm always excited when they drop a game, so yeah, let's do it. I don't even know, I really don't even know what it's about, but I always enjoy Zed Technician's games. Select a mode, normal mode or tough mode. Oh my god. Let's see how the game is first. What an, oh, it's a fish this time. It's the fish's tail because you play as a fish. That's new. <laughs> Fishes don't have arms, the heck? Have we seen this character before? Oh, this is Monica, I don't think so. Oh, hi, are you Angela? Oh! <laughs> you know, like, Zed Technician did that on purpose, like the... <laughs> are you telling me this isn't the evil one? That's me. No, no, you're not just gonna have this scary as freak looking fish character Talk like they're a normal person. Okay, I just will not accept that. Does he even have eyes? I think so. I think I see one eye. That's terrifying. Is it angler fish? We were, it's funny. We were just talking about angler fishes like the other day, I think. That's what they're called, right? Yeah. Thanks for coming. Especially on such a short notice as well. So I should probably tell you exactly why you're here before we get started. Monica, stop pretending like you're not terrified right now. Like, this has got to be the scariest one of them all. And there was like a cockroach one. My involvement in this whole situation began after my father's untimely passing. And his will, he left three things to me. So who's Monica's father? These always tend to connect. So the first thing was his house. It may not look like much, but it's been in our family for generations. The second thing was the $20 he had in his bank account. Oh, a wealthy man he was not. Though his kindness was more than, than, more than made up his lack of wealth. So who needs money when you got eyeballs in a jar? And the third thing, what the heck is this? Was his responsibility of keeping the fish asleep. And that's the part that I'm going to need help with. So what do you need me to do? Well, my father had the foresight to leave a set of instructions for me to follow. Apparently I'm supposed to perform an annual sealing ritual. And if I don't, the fish will reawaken. During his time here, father was uh, able to enact the ritual entirely by himself. And I hate to admit this because of how embarrassing it is, but it seems the gift uh, must have skipped a generation because I'm nowhere near as adept in magic as he was. Okay, so uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but yeah, there's magic in this universe. All right. I've tried it over and over again, but I can't seem to do this on my own. And that's why I've hired you tonight, my friend. Okay. The ritual involves the summoning and gathering of five mystical chains. By splitting the workload evenly, we should be able to complete the ritual and succeed where I failed. I'll perform the spells to summon the chains and then you'll go collect them. Why'd you hire a fish? I've already just uh, transcribed the necessary information onto my laptop. There are five spell crafting recipes in total and also a list of the correct order in which to make them. Allow me to open the correct file and then we can begin. Oh, we have five minutes or we'll- Oh my god, it's so scary, dude. What do I do? I'm always really- Diabolic dust? Cursed ashes? Fool's gold? He had more than $20. He had gold right here. Oh, because I'm guessing I need to look at this. Uh, one mournful- Can I- Can I leave it on the screen? One mournful miasma? I think I already messed up. What did I put in here? Oh, jeez. Oh, I think I put the mournful miasma in there. Good, good, good. Okay. Two silver tongues. Hmm, where's the silver tongues? What is this place? <laughs> One bleeding heart. Oh, well, I, I don't seem to know where the bleeding heart is. Oh, it's right there. Ah, I see. Bro, this is some weird stuff. I gotta say. One spiteful fang. What is a spiteful fang? And also, what does an unspiteful fang look like? Two broken bones. Oh, I know what that looks like. I've, 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 uh, I've had broken bones. It's not fun. Okay, so I guess we just mix it up now, huh? Ooh, it's witch's brew. Take it. I keep most of my spellcrafting recipes on my laptop. It really helps me stay organized. Wait, what do I do? Can I tell her to get away? Please leave. Do I put it in the toilet? Oh, I, uh, no, I actually did. No. Oh, I forgot an idle hand. Oh, no, that's probably why she wouldn't take it. I mean, it's on easy mode, right? Does it have to be in order? Because, like, okay, there's an idle hand. This stuff is weird, dude. What is it? Two silver tongues? How many broken bones? Two spiteful things? Did I not follow the instructions right? How do I... Lost page? Twas a dark and stormy morn when they scourge... When thy scourge did wash ashore, the terror from its mouth did plunge our lands into famine once more. Repose was not found, not by gods and not by lords, until a young lad did a well... A quell? Did quell the beast by his magic curse to stop the hordes. Okay, so basically, yeah, we just gotta stop him. I get it, but like, I don't... What do I do with this? I think I really missed the page and, and the instructions. I know you could switch characters, but how? That fish's eyes is gonna open up like Squidward on that one episode where it's like the, the, the glass breaking sound effect. 
Why are you able to put it down the toilet and the sink? Why do I need two methods to do that? Okay, I'm restarting the game. I clearly don't remember. Oh my god. Okay, I see. So there's a summoning order, and we have to do them in the right order. I, okay, didn't know that. I was wondering what I was doing wrong. Okay, so we start with the hearkening. Oh, there we go. And I already have all the necessary components at hand. So there's no need to concern yourself with that part. Yeah, my fault. I'm always bad at listening things. My mind just blanks out when I'm reading instructions for some reason. Most people nowadays use a fancy blender or something to mix the spellcrafting recipes together. I understand how to play, though, at least. But no, not me. I've already preferred the more traditional route of using a mortal and pestle, and you put the correct ingredients into the bowl and then grind it all together using the pestle that's right next to it. It's all quite easy. Okay, I just simply needed to open up the right one. Okay, I think I started on the hardest one. Okay, we need fool's gold for this. Why would you keep this fish next to your house anyway? It's just like there. Shouldn't you put it in a cave or something? And also, it's a fish. Shouldn't it be in water? This is a very weird fish. All right, we need the hand. Put the hand. There, that should do it. The mixture is complete. Now all I have to do is pour the contents into the cauldron. Wait, what cauldron? Okay, I know putting a metal drum over a bonfire doesn't exactly qualify as a cauldron, but when you can't afford a real one, sometimes you have to imp improvise a little bit. If it works, it works. Precisely. Thank you for moving out. It's just like... <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> how does this work? Like, how does this work? It don't make no sense. Look, the green hue means I did everything correctly, I think. You mean you're not sure? Nope. But here's the part where you come in. Now that the first chain has been summoned, it should be, uh, have it materialized somewhere nearby. I need you to go to find it and bring it back here. So where is it? I don't know. I've never gotten this far before, but Father used to always tell me, and from the mist of the cauldron, thy path shall be re revealed. So why not try looking into the cauldron, and we'll see what happens. It's just like freaking Freddy Fazbear in the cauldron. You Oh, there's a voice admitting. Robin's Road, uh, Song Creek Way. Okay, this is interesting. Robin's Road, Song Creek Way. Okay, is something gonna be like hunting me down while I'm doing this? Like these games hide very like, the jump scares are kind of like random. They're, they're not like immediate. You know, you have to like actually look for them. You never know when something is watching you. Well, this is very interesting. This is quite different. Like I said, I've always praised Zed Technician's games for being different. Okay. Um. What is the portal? Oh, there you are. Were you able to find the chain? There it is. Yep. Oh, God. I knew I... Uh, good. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, good. I knew I could count on you. Just leave it on the ground near the cauldron for for now. In the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and summon the next one. This fish is terrifying. I want to just take a look at this for a second. Yo, this fish got legs. This fish got... L I could walk on the fish. What kind of fish is this? Okay. Next, we got to do the echoing. I just like that we can keep it up there. All right. So, Brook and Bone... Yeah, I mean, so far, this is pretty dang easy. Oh, wait. Do you have to do it all in one single night? Because maybe I'm, like, wasting a lot of time then. All right? I don't know. How do I... I where's the spell to reverse time? One watchful eye. They are very watchful. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, I see. So, the paths are, like, blocked by this black fog stuff. There we go. In spite of the initial complications, this is going pretty well, I'd say. Yeah, it's pretty easy, I'd say. But uh, we do need to hurry. I must tell you, there's a reason why keeping the fish asleep is so vital. There are things inside of it. Things. Parasites. Nasty little things. That's... Okay, that's where it's gonna get scary. Alright. As the fish begins to wake up, they come out and search for food. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, it's coming out now? Oh. Oh. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> Try carefully while you're out collecting the next chain, my friend. Having just exited its host, the parasite should leave you alone for the moment. But I cannot guarantee you what will happen as they begin to grow hungry. And why do you live here? Like, I would abandon this family. No. Okay, uh, I need to go to Millwood Street, Betty Lane. All right. Screw this place and its neighborhood. All right, Millwood Street. Wait a minute. Hey! Hey, that's What's-Her-Face! Guys, you remember that? Oh! They did the thing! They they combined the universes again! We played- that was like the first Zed Technician game, and that's the- that's the chick from it. And the car? Oh, interesting. I love it when they do that. I just- I get all excited. I'm like, hey, I've seen you before in another game. Yeah, guys, check out the playlist if you, uh, you know. Oh, what are you- oh my god, dude, look at these legs. What in the- how does that even work, dude? Hey, leave me alone! 
Leave me alone. I'm trying to go to church. <laughs> I'm trying to get a chain if you don't mind. They set out some lawn chairs out here. This is so much different. Okay. I got the next one for you. Thank you, my friend. That's two chains down now and only three more to go. Allow me a moment while I summon the third chain, please. Yeah, I probably ran out of time. I don't really know what happens when it hits 12 o'clock. Okay, two bleeding hearts. Got it. Coming right up, man. I'm going to make the best pizza. That's what we're doing, right? Okay, two spiteful fangs. And one mournful miasma. Like, I, I definitely know what that is. Wait, where is it at? Okay. It's pretty chill. It's pretty chill. They, they, they don't really do nothing. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, what did I do? I, did I not mix it right? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I must have botched the recipe somehow. Oh man, now I'm sad. Don't let the one little slip up get to you. Don't let one little slip up get to you. Come on, I'll help you up. Okay, so that's what happens when you fail the recipe. Oh, I forgot the watchful eye. Jeez. All right, before you go, I have something that I wish to give you. What are you gonna give, what? Ooh, jewelry? Unless you want me to pawn it or something, I don't really need it. No, 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 my friend. This is no mere jewelry. This is a protective amulet. My father used to craft these in his spare time. Should anything try and harm you, simply point the amulet towards the assailant and utilize the space within your mind. It will take care of the rest. I must utilize it sparingly, however, for it to for it runs off out of energy, you'll need to recharge it uh, by the fire. There's also a small tab on the back that can be used to remind yourself of the path you must take, but only once per trip. Keep these things in mind. I mean, how confusing can it be, right? Oh, dang. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, Millwood Street, Northfield Road, McKinley Road. Oh, they're switching it up on me. Hey, you. <laughs> I just hit him with a freaking uh, death beam. Yeah, I, I hit you too. Yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure it was McKinley Road, right? I actually don't remember. So when am I going to know, like, when they decide to attack? Are they going to get closer? Or, like, what's going to happen? I trust that you've located the third chain. Yep, good. We're halfway through this ritual now. The, uh, thank you once more for your help, my friend. I could have not have made it this far without your assistance. Hold tight for a moment, and I'll prepare the next mixture for the next chain. So what do they put, like, an offer on Craigslist? Like, uh, <laughs> How do you get this, especially these weird looking fish, man? <gasps> I knew it! I knew you would do this! Is it ready? Yes, indeed it is. Okay, then, uh, be back in a flash. Stay vigilant. Vigilant. Okay, Robin North Walker John. Non North Walker John. That's what I said, right? Man, what are you doing with your weird legs? Huh? What, you, what do you think you're doing? I probably should save my blast. Oh, oh he getting close! Oh, he thought he's gonna freaking be slick. Oh, I, I only have like two more blasts left. I, I gotta be careful. Yes, yes, that's four chains collected now. There's only one more left. And then our work tonight is done, my friend. Allow me a moment to begin summoning the final chain. This is gonna be easy. All right, yeah, the one I did from like the very beginning. Are right, these dudes watching me? No? Okay, we got, got that. Morphal Miasma, one spiteful thing. Watchful eye. We need three hands. This is a, someone's hungry. Man, uh, this is a weird Starbucks, dude. And thus, the final chain has been summoned. Now, I'm, not a moment too soon, for I fear that the fish is growing restless. You must hurry. You can count on me. Excellent. Millwood, North, North, Walker, Poplar. I'm sure I'll remember that. Millwood, I want to see if I can go over there. Hey, you chill. Chill out. Chill out. What's happening? Is the fish awakening? Is it happening? Oh, God, it's actually hard to tell when they're... Which ones are coming at you? Okay, I see. Crap, which was the next one? North view? Yeah, there's another north in there somewhere. Oh, not today. Uh, okay. Um, oh, God. Mavis? I think it was Mavis. Why am I here? Okay, no. Oh, they're breaking my stuff, dude. Welcome back. It seems the amulet sensed that you were in trouble and brought you back here. I may have forgotten to mention that it could do that as well. My mistake. Yeah. I. So what have I been doing wrong then? But do keep in mind that it does have its limitations. If its ability to save you is used three times in the one night, it will shatter. Please keep that in mind. Millwood North North Walker Poplar. Oh, you know, I, I think I was going down the wrong street. That's what was happening. This way? What? How? Dude, am I really stupid? Maybe it, maybe that's it, dude. I don't know. Oh, this is just a really long road, man. All right, this is the furthest I've made it. Oh, I see you waiting. You waiting on me? Wait, I went the wrong way. What is happening? 
What is happening? Millwood, North View, North Gate, Walker Road, Poplar Drive. Oh my God. Well, I actually ran out of time. Monica knew all too well just how little time she had to work with before the fish awaken. During her preparation, she had written a note to remind herself of her approaching deadline. But unfortunately for her, her short time had run already run out. Well, I guess we can see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? It's a fish. What's it gonna do? Swim? It wasn't long before a mighty rumble emitted from the dark, uh, deep within the fish, as it's uncertain. As it unceremoniously began to stir. Oh God, that's the fish from the window. It doesn't it look like the same thing? Its eyes began slowly to open. It gazed upon the landscape for the first time in a millennia. The fish sat unmoving and blinking for a moment. That was all too fleeting. And then a strange beast emerged from its mouth. Another one would soon emerge, and then another, and countless more would follow. It wasn't long until the entirety of the woods were filled with the strange parasitic beasts. And now, being separated from their hosts for the first time in a long time, they began to feed. Within a day, the entire forest was plunged into an external and def deafening silence as the creatures consumed everything in their path. Once their ravenous nature had rendered the immediate area devoid of life, the swarm soon began to wander off in search for of more food. And that's when the disappearances began in mass. Well, that's terrifying. Oh, I'm so mad. I don't know why that was so hard. I, I feel like I'm being tricked. Oh, thank God. I don't have to restart the whole thing. Oh, I can walk over here. Oh, what the heck? This dude's here now? It's like... <laughs> it's like your dog. You out here to help that lady down the road, ain't ya? Yep. Good. She's a sweetheart, all right. I usually hear all of her casting her spells and doing her magic all hours of the night. Most folks would probably complain about all that noise, but Rex and me don't mind it too much. I go over there and help her out myself, especially since the poor thing just lost her paw and all. But I ain't too reliable uh, once the sun goes down. Well, anyways, uh, you'll all be safe out there, you hear? It's like the dog now. Woof woof. It literally is a dog. Wow. There was another game in this series, I think. There was like a sequel to that game, but they took it down and I don't know why. Right, I think we good. We good. I trust that you brought forth the final chain. Yep. Well done, my friend. On to the final step. We must cast all five chains into the cauldron like so. Yo, this is weird. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh! <laughs> Poor fish. Is that it? Indeed it is. The ritual dictates that the fish will not be able to reawaken again for an entire year uh, has passed and that any straggling parasites will re-enter their host after some time has passed. So in other words, your work here tonight is complete. Please take this. It's what I owe you for some serious, uh, for your services tonight. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. I may require your help once again in the future. Ooh, sequel? So I'll definitely keep, be keeping your number on hand just in case I require your assistance once more. I'm always looking for uh, odd jobs around town. Give me a call anytime. I certainly will. Hopefully our paths will cross again soon. But until then, I must bid you farewell. Have a good night, my friend. Thanks, you two. With your big old teeth. This is a strange, strange universe, but one that I cannot look away from. All right, so I, I decided to come back on tough mode because I think there might be another ending. And so far, I've done this pretty dang easy. I think the only difference is that we have till 11 instead of 12. So we just had to work a little bit faster, but uh, I think I can do it. All right, there it is. I, I almost turned around completely. Ah, but I'm a professional. That was easy. All right, I just want to see if there's another ending because I think... Usually there is. Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think there was actually another ending. Oh, never mind. There it is. Okay. At first, I didn't think I stood even the slightest chance of being able to fill your shoes. And if I'm honest here, I probably never will. I could even perform a simple ceiling ritual by myself. I had to obtain outside help just to get by. But that's okay. I would want help too. That's scary. I wouldn't want to sit around feeling sorry for myself. Or you wouldn't want me to. You'd probably tell me that there's nothing wrong with seeking the help of others. And then you'd probably just tell me how proud you were that I found an adequate solution in the end. So I won't let my shortcomings get me down. No, not now and not ever. You can rest easy now, father. I won't let you down. Who was the father? 
Oh, what the heck? I got two more stars. Well, that was the fish's tail. Very interesting. Uh, again, it's like the same, but different every time. But yeah, let me know what you thought about it down below. Scrub, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you scrubs in the next uh, Z Technician game. Bye now.